The formation of Pacific Coast producers has at its roots many individuals, but three are credited for much of the co-op's early growth. Paul Ray, the cooperative's first president and former executive for U.S. products. Bob Collins, the first chairman of the board, who had provided pears from his Walnut Grove ranch to U.S. products. And James Mosier, the first treasurer, a pear grower from Walnut Grove and longtime associate of Collins. Late in 1970, Ray contacted Collins with an idea to form a cooperative, a business where growers of produce purchase canning facilities and supply product, which is processed by a hired management team. Uh, this group of farmers with Paul Ray instigation and Jim Mosier, Bob Collins, encouraging a hundred of their friends that are in the farming business to start a co-op at a time when co-ops were having trouble in California. The idea had grown from Ray's mounting concern for growers who had been displaced, who had no home for their product because USP had announced it was closing several of its California plants. A lot of people call Paul Ray the George Washington of PCP. He was a money man. Paul insisted on running the co-op in a very conservative, business-like manner. He was strictly business. When he agreed to help get this new co-op started, um, it, it, it was the turning point. From these humble beginnings, Pacific Coast Producers was formed. At the time that Pacific Coast Producers started, the office actually was at Paul Ray's house. In the morning when I would go to work, I would have to drive up to on there Paul Ray's house. This group that decided to form PCP uh, picked Bob Collins as chairman of the board of directors because they all knew him and trusted him and trusted his advice. He was uh, kind of a catalyst type where he could bring people together. When a lot of the problems of the other cooperatives, the board wasn't together. If there were problems on one side or another, he get the growers together and, and smooth out the, their problems and that sort of thing. When we go into that board room, we take off our peach growing hat or tomato growing hat, and our decisions are based on not what's best for our commodity, but it's for the benefit of the co-op. Jim Mosier uh, was very instrumental. He was very active in the negotiations with Stokely. Stokely agreed to buy a uh, substantial portion of the production of the new PCP. And because uh, PCP was doing this private label for Stokely, it instigated and is perpetuated that PCP is a private label canner. In 1971, Pacific Coast producers arranged to purchase three Stokely plants in Lodi, Boroughville, and Santa Cruz. The thing with Stokely, on one of the reasons that they sold the plants, over the years on Stokely had not actually really stayed up with anything. Actually, they were not in the best shape. One of the markers of success for Pacific Coast producers has been its willingness to innovate, to constantly improve. The changes have been dramatic. I remember when we, when I first came here on a shift, if we ran 120 bins of peaches a shift, we thought we were really having a big day. Um, it wasn't unusual to hit a target of 500 bins of peaches processed in a day and think that we had really accomplished something. Here in the Orville plant, set a, a new all-time record last Saturday, running more than 2,700 bins of peaches in one day. You can see the dramatic changes, and, and that's been true not only just of, of production, but in everything. Just in my work alone, a mechanic used to walk around the warehouse with a pair of water pumps, a crescent wrench, and a screwdriver in his pocket, and he didn't have to use those most of the time. It was just, you kick the machine to get it going again. And it's not like that anymore. Now we, everybody has a computer with them when they go out to, to work on a line. So it's a lot different than it used to be. The co-op packed a lot of things. They didn't. They weren't a quality packer. Uh, they, they were more volume packer, actually. Gradually, we changed that, and slowly, and with Bob's cooperation, actually, got more uh, uh, quality. And as such, you could get better customers. We are here for a purpose, and that's to get our products sold for our growers. If you're going to get those products sold, you need a customer, a willing customer, or a customer that believes in what you 
uh, are trying to sell. The ultimate story of Pacific Coast Producer's success is the story of its people. Even more important than the product line and the canning and our growers is the success that we have and we are now truly starting to understand our success in these tough economic times is that we have great people. What I like best about working here, uh, I like the people. I work with a lot of people a good many years. I've seen them come up from just starting here all the way up through um, to where they've been here 20, 25, 30 years and they've been it turned out to be excellent employees here. You know what, I'm glad I've been here with PCP for 27 years. I've had a lot of fun. I love my job, and the people that work with me are just absolutely wonderful. My daughters, I have twin daughters, they both are students at UC Davis. <laughs> Honor students, if I can put that in. And they still come home at the summertime and work for the company. So even after all these years, and even though we were so much bigger now than we used to be, it's still a family operation, it still has a family feeling to it. I like my job, I like the people I work for, and this job got my kids in college, and then I'm really proud of my kids. Enjoy the people working here, it's, you know, we're, you gotta have a different mindset to be in this environment, working 80, 70, you know, 70 to 80 days in a row. And it's just a big challenge, and you know? I love the challenge. PCP's success over the years has been based upon what people accomplish. It's the hundred little things we and our people do right all the time, and uh, and that just means being focused on uh, getting the goal, which again is to get all these crops that you see out here delivered to our customers and have a home next year and the year after and the year after that's uh, a quality home and a profitable home for our farmers. I'm very positive about the future of Pacific Coast producers. We are really good at what we do. We produce great products. We have people that understand what we're here for. And uh, it's a company that I believe is just going to thrive as, as we go on.